Michael Colligan here from Get a Grip on Lighting. I'm with my co-host, Greg Eric. And, Greg, we're about to interview TCP about a product you're particularly passionate about. Now, don't give it away, but get ready, folks. Greggy. We're interviewing them because they did it right, man. You're going to see today what they did. You're going to solve all your questions, all your issues about this product line. You can get it all from TCP. Here comes Leslie and Paul from TCP. Good morning, everybody. I'm Leslie Matt. I'm Senior Vice President of TCP. And with me today is Paul Spiro. And we're talking commercial downlights from TCP. This is an exciting new product that we're so proud of and so happy to be launching. So let's just dive right in, Paul. Sure, absolutely. So let's go over our line. What do we actually have? Well, you know, before we get right into that, Leslie, I wanted to show people what we have, like, prior. What is a commercial downlight? Okay, like, I think you that's know, great. back in the day. Yeah. So I have one here. Ooh, you pulled that out of the floor. Hey, now. We pulled this out of our own ceiling. Uh, but this is a, a typical commercial downlight. You see there's a couple of PL lamps in there. Nice aluminum finish here. Deep recessed light to prevent glare. Okay. Okay. Well, looks so like a nice can to me, Paul. Product. What? <laughs> looks like a nice can to me. That old one. Oh, <laughs> Those are the old ones. But then we want to talk about our fresh new look Ooh. now. So this is an LED version of that same kind of commercial can. You see we have the aluminum finish here, but now we made it a matte finish. Still a deep recessed light source there to prevent glare control on the can. And uh, just a very nice aluminum finish to it. It's got a cable here that you can easily hook in and meet uh, electrical code very quickly. Super. Now, what all do we have as far as this line? Because I know we have more than just that traditional six-inch Ab look. Absolutely. So we have uh, many different sizes on this. We have a four, a six, an eight, a ten, and a twelve-inch size. I'm gonna grab the twelve because I all think right. the twelve is pretty cool and pretty unique. It's pretty large. Look at this. Okay. This oh. guy's as big as my head. Like, look at that guy. <laughs> That's pretty big. Yeah. So we have the 4, 6, 8, 10 inch, 12 inch sizes. Mm -hmm. um, also on these cans, these are selectable wattage as well as selectable color. So three wattages, three, three colors, color nine combinations, one can. Absolutely. Four sizes. Absolutely. That's a lot of combinations. Yes. We, we, we round up the combinations on this very quickly. But we didn't stop there because we realized that there's many applications out there. Um, so some people um, have what we call high ceiling applications. Okay. So when you get into those ceilings that are, let's say, 20 feet-ish, you, you may not get enough lumin illumination from a can like this, where we have an integrated driver on top. Mm -hmm. uh, so this model, what we did was we upgraded it a bit to an external driver model. So this external driver allows us to push more power through now. Um, we got rid of the CCT option because we need to get more, more light output. So yep. it's a single color, more power here. And now we can get up into those high ceiling applications. We call this our high efficiency line. So we actually have two lines. We have the standard line, and then we have the high efficiency line for those higher ceiling applications. Now, Paul, I know we did one other really neat thing on that high efficiency line. Absolutely. So on our standard line, you see we have a nice little frosted lens here. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. And then on the high efficiency line, we want to get as much light out of the can as possible. So it's kind of hard to see, but there's an acrylic uh, lens in there that helps pull the light out of that can and onto the floor. That way you get all that trap light in there right out of the right can. Out of the but Paul, one thing that people challenged us on, on both versions, was actually our lumen output because uh -huh. we recessed the light so deep within the can. Yes. They were like, well, are you still getting the lumens? Because a lot of our competitors, all they did is they took a regular residential downlight and they just made it bigger. That's right, Leslie. So what did we do? Well, we actually, we went to our, our competitors' websites. We pulled all their data together. We matched it up to our product, apples to apples, and you'll find out that we're about 20% higher on our lumens That's than, pretty than our competitors are. And on this guy versus that guy with the special lens type, what's the average foot candle percentage that you get additional? Um, on this one, you'll get about 30 or 40% more foot, more foot candles, candles, okay, because that of that lens. It's pulling a lot of that trap light that may be extraneous light in the can out of, out of the can and onto the floor. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Very cool idea. Mm -hmm. So a couple questions I've got for you guys. Um, start well, first off, off with, this is Greg yeah. Eric. This is Greg Eric from Get a Grip on Lighting. Oh, and thank you. Uh, Morning, we, we're, Morning, yeah, we're Yeah. I'm really excited about this product. Greg, you started up there, bud. Yeah, yeah, I, I am too, because here, here's my example. is I'm in facilities all the time, mm -hmm. and I've been to multiple mm -hmm. where they have a 6-inch and an 8-inch, and then they have a couple 10 sure. or 12 inches, mm -hmm. and, and it happens all the time. You know, you might not think it does, but it does. And what I see right now is I go to one manufacturer and I say, oh, great, I'm going to do a 6 and an 8. Oh, you don't have that in the 10. Okay, so i got to do a different manufacturer in the 10, and it's a different look. And then, you know, and it, it goes down the line. So I see a lot of manufacturers have just one size or two sizes. 
nobody that I haven't seen anybody that has four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. So good job on that. Yeah, that makes it awesome. Yeah, and um, here we go. Getting wild. See if I can hold them all. I can't really hold them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then I've got the 10, 10 and the 12. So there, there you go. go. That's what that's what we'll we need. So I like that. Sizes. Totally. That's awesome. So yeah. uh, I see you guys have the, the selectable colors. You have three, 35, four, and then you have a separate one that's 27 and five. Why is that? Well, we wanted to make sure that we covered any application out there that in a color temperature that somebody may want. Um, getting five colors into a can, you know, with the LEDs and the space constraints and everything really wasn't practical. So we split it up into one can that's 27 and 5,000 K, which we think will be a low mover. And then we have the high moving can item, which is like going to be the 3,000, 4,000, you know, uh, 3,500 K. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's good. Just to I, give people more variety of offerings. Both cans are selectable wattage. Awesome. Because another that, thing right? I see when I, I do a lot of exterior lighting projects too, where they have recessed cans underneath the canopy, and a lot of the exterior yep. lighting we're putting in, Mike, to a whole different story is 5K, right? 5,000 mm -hmm. Kelvin. Sure. Not a lot of people sure. have 5,000 Kelvin, and if they do, it's one size, and then again, you run into issues. So you have a 4,000 Kelvin can over the entrance, and you have a 5,000 Kelvin wall pack. Doesn't look right. Yeah. So uh, good job yeah, on that. It's a great too. example that we had uh, that was we got asked in a car dealership in their carport. It was a high end car yep. dealership. They asked for the 5,000. And then in the lobby of a hotel, they actually asked for 27. Sure. So yeah. that's why we've got so many. So you've got it covered. And then a couple other questions. I've got a list of them, Mike, <laughs> and then you can get wild. <laughs> the uh, matte silver finish. I've seen some that have white, mm. I see some that have beveled. Mm. Why do you guys go with matte silver? We like that matte silver finish because um, it doesn't provide a lot of reflectivity, but it provides enough to get more of that light out of that can. Okay. Um, and I like the matte finish because we're worried about glare control yep. mostly. You know, I mean, a lot of, if you look at a traditional can, it has a deep recessed light source. And that's why we went on a deep light source as well. And then we just, to further improve that glare control, we did that matte finish. You know, a lot of those people that are doing a white finish or a high reflective finish, like a traditional can, you can get a little bit of off angle glare sometimes there. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure we reduce that. There's additional shadowing that the LEDs are starting to create within both the white and the high gloss. Right. But the cool Good. thing about us is the fact that if somebody wants white on this piece of it, yeah. so on the trim piece, we can actually do that as a custom order. Yeah. We're happy to paint this little trim piece any color anybody wants. We'll need some lead time, obviously, but yeah, we're happy to do custom stuff for people as well. That's good to hear. Other things I saw, you have 85 degree beam angle for the most part. And what are standard CFL cans beam angle? Do you guys know, like that can you pulled up? Is there a measurable beam angle um, on that? I can't say that I know that off the top of my head. Yeah. Um, no, I, I would fine, take right? a guess. It's probably around the 60 to 80, 80 yeah. degree range. And what Just are the, that a lot of... Because it's deep. Yeah. What are the, a lot of the recess yeah. or the LED cans out there right now that are, a lot of them are surface, close to the mm -hmm. surface. And what yeah. I like is a nice deep right. recess, which mm -hmm. you guys have. Right. What are those beam angles when they're close to the surface? I know you guys have some options like that too. Yeah. Probably closer to like a 120 degree beam angle, but that's going to create a lot of glare off mm -hmm. that can itself. You get that off angle light with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. You know, and a lot of times then, you're trying to illuminate your ceiling or something with those. Yeah. Not necessarily the floor. Right. Very good. And as far as dimming goes, they're all dimmable. Is it zero to 10 volt? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, all of them are zero to 10 volt dimming. Um, have the zero to 10 volt wires right there for you. All right. And then on that can, the, the driver is built into where? The back housing, right? So the driver on this particular can is right in this, this piece right here, this cap piece. Um, on the high efficiency version, we had to move that out because we were populating more LEDs. We went to a single color, all that. And that was just to get out that more extra punch on the light. So, and if you, but yeah, if you this do, is an integrated driver right in here. So to replace that, if you ever needed to, it's basically the can is probably your best bet than trying Just to can. pop it can. in. Yeah, very Perfect. quick and easy. And then one other big question I've got on these color selectable and lumen selectable, it's more on the lumen selectable side. So as a lighting distributor, we're doing a lot of lighting projects that have rebates assigned to them. And you have three different mm -hmm. wattages. And, what, and I have a couple of rebate programs from the same main utility here. One is a custom program that's based on energy saving and the other is prescriptive. And I have the option from the same utility and they give a higher rebate from prescriptive when it's a higher wattage and they give a lower one on the, on the custom because it's energy savings. So what I see is, you know, I have your eight inch here and it's a 15 watt um, or that's a sure. six inch, sorry, 15 watt 
max. Yeah. So the prescriptive program will call it a 15 watt. The custom program will call it a 15 watt. Uh, the prescriptive might give more for 15 than they'd give for 10, but the custom will call 15, even though you only want to use eight. So what they've asked me to do in the past, and I think I also said you guys can do this, is actually pot it or glue it so that you are set at a wattage. Yep. yep. Is that something that's yeah, common? Yeah, we can do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can do things like that as well. Absolutely. Yeah, we just need to and know have, when people were to place their order. And that way we can yeah, do I, it here at the factory and put it in place and lock it in. Yeah. Good. Because I have seen, uh, you know, you guys I have the can here and, and it's pretty easy to do. Other other manufacturers I've seen have it on the driver and, you, and there's no way to do that because it's all built into it. Yeah, it, it makes it a little can. more cumbersome when it's on the driver. Good. And then the other important part that I like is that it's 122.77 volt because whenever you have a CFL, you never have to plug in. You, you don't know HID. You don't know what the voltage is. So you just want to make it yeah. easy. Good job. Right. So that was my list offhand, Mike. What else you got, buddy? Well, you covered a lot, but I, I was going to say that, you know, when you're doing a project in these, especially commercial towers with the larger cans, a lot of times those CDM metal halides were kind of not in play simply because you couldn't get the light out of an LED up there you, or if it was a, uh, like a, a foyer of a large commercial building, you looked at those MP metal halides up there and you just thought to yourself, uh, I don't know if I want to get into this with some custom kid. And, you know, what if the light doesn't come down or they have less light or, you know, whatever has it. This puts those applications in play. And those applications are excellent paybacks for customers because those are 111 CDM metal halides or those, mm -hmm. you know, uh, those PAR 38 metal halide lamps are very expensive to buy. They don't last that long. So not even energy efficiency. That is the best maintenance play savings you can get in a commercial building is getting rid of CDM metal halide. It's so expensive and hard to find now. Um, and so I really love these, um, this, this line of um, recessed lighting you guys have created because it puts all of those tougher recessed lighting applications into play, into the project. And in fact, they're so good for clients. You can even go on their on your own with just, hey, why don't we look at the foyer here? Instead of always linear fluorescent tubes, linear fluorescent tubes, let's have a look at your foyer here real quick. Come in with that TCP line of, uh, of recessed downlights and you could have yourself a nice little ten fifteen thousand dollar project right there and you're the only one in the game that has the product because you brought tcp to the table and it's all from one manufacturer all the six inches get covered the eight inches get covered and the 12 inches in the foyer get covered i think it's an excellent product and a great idea